Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to solve an exponential equation. So the equation we have to solve is 3 exponent x minus 3 exponent minus x divided by 3 exponent x plus 3 exponent minus x. The whole thing is equal to 1 fourth. So we will uh, do cross multiplication. So let's write. So solution. So apply cross multiplication. So four times three x minus three to the power of minus x is equal to one times three to the power of x plus three to the power of minus x. So we'll just distribute the four to both the uh, I mean both the terms. So this will be four times three to the power of x times minus 4 to the power of 3 to the power of minus x. And this one will be 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of minus x. Okay. So, we will add 4 to the power of, uh, 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of minus x on both sides. When we do that, they will cancel. So on the left-hand side of the equal to sign, we will be left with 4 multiplied by 3 exponent x is equal to 3 exponent x plus 4 plus 3 to the power of minus x plus 4 times 3 to the power of minus x. Now this 3 to the power of minus x is can be written as 4. So the left-hand side remain unchanged. Then this on the right hand side we have 3x plus 1 times 3 to the power of minus x plus 4 times 3 to the power of minus x. Okay. So on the left hand side again 4 to the 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 4 plus 1 is 5 times 3 to the power of minus x. Let me create some more space for myself. Now I will subtract 3 to the power of x on both sides. So on the left hand side of this equation, we will get 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of minus x and 3x can be written as 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of x is equal to 5 multiplied by 3 to the power of minus x. Now, 4 times 3 to the power of x minus 1 times 3 to the power of x, 4 minus 1 is 3. So, 3 to the multiplied by 3 to the power of x. This 3 comes in because it's 4 minus 1. Okay. And is equal to 5 times 3 to the power of minus x. Okay, some more space. Now we will divide by three on both sides. So the left hand side of the equal to sign becomes three to the power of x and the right hand side uh, becomes five divided by three times 3 to the power of minus x. Now divide by 3 to the power of minus x on both sides. Okay. And a little bit of more space. So, so this becomes and now 3 to the power of x 
uh, three exponent x and three to the minus x from the denominator. When it comes to numerator, the minus x will become positive. It will change sign. Will be three to the power of x multiplied by. And on the right hand side, three to the power of minus x and three to the power of minus x in the numerator and denominator will cancel. We'll be left with five by three. So now we can use the rule of exponents where the bases are same, three. So we'll add the exponents three to the power of two x is equal to five divided by three. Okay, now we'll take logarithm of both sides. Take logarithm of both sides. On both sides. This becomes logarithm. When we write just logarithm, it means base 10. 3 exponent 2x is equal to logarithm of 5 divided by 3. So if I use my calculator, if I use my calculator, uh, I'll press the logarithm key and inside the parenthesis, I'll do 5 divided by 3, right parenthesis, and that is equal to 0 0.2218. So, again, some more space. Okay. Oops, let me erase that. So, this becomes... using the properties of logarithm, an exponent comes in the front. So 2x exponent that comes in the front as a multiplier, multiplied by logarithm of 3 is equal to 0 0.2218. Or we can write 2x multiplied by logarithm of 3. I can use my calculator to find logarithm of 3. And that is equal to 0 0.4771. 4771 is equal to 0 0.2218. Now, 2 times 0 0.4771 multiplied by 2. I mean, 0 0.4771 multiplied by 2 is equal to 0 0.9542. Uh, 0 0.9542 times x is equal to 0 0.2218. Just give me a minute, let me get rid of that. Zero point two two one eight. this is two. Okay, now divide by 0 0.952 on both sides. And x is equal to 0 0.2218 divided by 0 0.9542. So 0 0.2218 divided by 0 0.9542. And that is equal to 0 0.2324. So that's your final answer. That is the value of x that we are looking for in this solution. This is your answer. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please share with your friends. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel because I'll come back next time with another interesting math problem and a solution to it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.